Florence, so lovely to speak with you. Hello. Thanks so much for taking the time. Of course. So, for people who don't know about The Little Drummer Girl, how do you <laughs> summarise the story and, and your character's role, Charlie? Yes, so, uh, how do I summarise the story? That's, even though that's such a simple question, it's not a simple answer. There are so many themes in this series. Um, you know, there's a whole uh, a romantic relationship in the middle of um, this very complicated situation um, between, you know, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. And I think that's what makes it so interesting. It's it's neither one or the other. I play um, a character called Charmian Ross, Charlie Ross, and she's an actress living in London. And she kind of gets whisked up into that world because she's really good at acting and she's really good at lying. Um, and so it was uh, an amazing storyline to kind of play because she's not ready for that world and it was a it was a really cool opportunity to play someone that was in that world but was one of us um and i hope that the audiences enjoy that aspect to it and john and carrie's writing has been adapted so successfully yeah. for the screen at least with the bbc's the night manager yeah. um, a few years back so yeah. what is it about his writing that just makes it so good for the screen something that i love and something that i think is kind of then transformed really well onto screen is the fact that it doesn't dumb down the audience. And I know that's such a simple thing, but I, I think we're so used to being spoon fed now, whether it's like in books or uh, on podcasts or on TV, that actually it's really refreshing having something show you and, and not waiting for you to catch up. And I think that's a really amazing way of storytelling because, you know, his books are complicated and they are, um, they are all so intricate and specific. And I think I, I really love when it is uh, put into film or TV because it just requires you to be there and be ready to watch it. And that's one of the aspects that I love about his, his books and his, and his films. <laughs> and something that really strikes me about the series is it seems to balance style and substance so well. You know, the aesthetic, the 70s aesthetic is flawless. Yes. But the, these really ca complex characters, meaty subjects. So do you think that was something that was really important to pull this off? So. It's director Park Chan work, so it's always going to look amazing. Um, <laughs> that's a given. Um, but I think, I think what was appealing to all of us was the fact that despite where we shot or 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 how stunning it was at, at the heart of it we are doing that really complicated storyline um, and it was so important for us to make sure that it was um, that we were doing it in the right way and that it was that we were understanding it as well um, and alongside that we got to shot in these amazing places which is kind of the the wonderful twist to the storyline is the, you know they go to the Acropolis and actually what he's doing is manipulating her and making her into a spy um, and that carries through throughout the entire series which ends up making I think the audience and Charlie feeling a bit manipulated and I think that was that nice balance and it's an incredible cast yeah. and, and director but you in particular seem to have a really good chemistry with Alexander so that's because I love work? him <laughs> <laughs> was it amazing to work yeah, together? yeah it was amazing he's a really really talented man um, I think what's so interesting is right now um, I'm in a position where I've done lots of lovely work and I've worked with amazing people but none of my stuff is out yet and people don't really know where I've come from and what's really gorgeous is when I go onto a set and the person that's been working for years and the person that everybody knows and the person that is the most talented <laughs> welcomes you in such a wonderful way and expects you to be a part of it as much as they are for me that's just everything and, and Alex did that completely and um, you know he's a He's a very talented person to watch. Um, he's so eff effortless and, and beautiful on, on screen. And that was just like such a joy to work with him uh, because yeah, I really felt part of, part of, the, part of the family and that, that was him, so I love him. <laughs> and you do go to some exotic locations. Yes. It looks like it was a lot of fun to yes. film. You know, do you have a particular highlight? The Acropolis. Um, what's funny is whenever you read a script, uh, there's always these amazing bits that happen in scripts. And then you, at the beginning, you go, oh my God, that's amazing, but we won't really film there. And then you'll get the next kind of uh, copy of the script and then that amazing thing will be gone. And so I kept on expecting that the Acropolis would be gone in all, each new draft of the script. And then finally we got to like a month before we filmed and the Acropolis was still in this scene. And I went to Direct Park and I said, are we actually filming at the Acropolis? And they were like, yeah. 
And I was like, we're actually filming at the Acropolis? Yeah. And so when we were there, what's amazing is usually whenever you're reacting to something like that, you have to look at, I don't know, like a green board or you have to look at a tennis ball on a stick and pretend you're looking at the Acropolis. And we were in the Acropolis and Director Park had two cameras on my face and on Alex's face. And we were just required to look at the Acropolis in awe. And that was the most beautiful, touching moment because it was just us on the Acropolis. There was like just our crew. And we were allowed to just soak up this piece of history. And that was the highlight of the series. I loved, it was unbelievable. <laughs> I love leading Lady Parts, but yes. also your character here. I feel like there's something very, very real about her. You know, she's sort of witty and brilliant, but totally. also so, you know, relatable. Yeah. Do you think there are more interesting characters coming out for women more than ever there is than before? Yeah, totally. And I and, and obviously, um, what an amazing time to be in. The, I know we're growing, and I know there are flaws in this industry, and I know that things are changing and we're trying really hard to change them. But what an amazing time for someone like me in, my, in the way that it's going in the industry, the way that it's cradling more voices. It's such an amazing time to be here and to be working because the opportunities are opening and characters like superheroes are being given, given to women and you have, you know, Doctor Who is now a woman. And then you also just have a character like Charlie, who's very normal, but is appreciated as being normal. And, and I, that was another thing that attracted me to the role. It's a great time, and um, I'm lucky to be a part of it. Oh, fantastic. Well, thanks Thank so much you. for your time. Thank you. Cheers. Lovely I'll see you around. Yeah, see you. Bye-bye.